So the EWG uh, looked at a number of different models. Um, you'll see the models that we analyzed on this slide. And each of these models different how the data is being queried or copied into the RDS. Um, and specifically we looked at, I mean, we looked at the, the current who is and, and really analyzed um, uh, elements of there. We then looked at, at a federated model, uh, which was a distributed model that pulls data directly from the registries and the validators. Then we looked at a synchronized model. And here is where the data is pushed to a common hub and then distributed to multiple um, uh, data centers. And you'll see that we have uh, on, on the synchronized model um, an asterisk. And, uh, and so we had changed the, uh, the, the wording from aggr aggregate to uh, synchronized. Uh, it was somewhat of a misnomer uh, because um, there, there was going to be distribution of data in multiple databases and, and data centers, so we, want, we wanted to get that across in, in the name as well. So the other thing we looked at, the other models we looked at were the regional model, a model where the data is copied to several regional hubs, uh, the opt-out model, a combination of the synchronized and federated models, and in essence really allowing the registries to uh, a choice of, of either one of them. Then the bypass model, uh, where the data is passed from the registrars uh, directly to the RDS, skipping uh, the registries, and and uh, and you should note that a, you know a number of these uh, actually came from the community, and that's why we included them in act and and uh, and analyzed them. And the key for the uh, EWG in our analysis was that across all these models, the RDS remained the authoritative source, providing authenticated gating and logging access. And at the end of the day, um, uh, whatever model that we recommended should remain distributed in architecture with data located in multiple uh, databases across multiple data centers, uh, like I discussed before. So, the, uh, so we, we, we took all these models, um, the EWG analyzed each of these models against a set of criteria, and it was a rigorous analysis. Uh, we then came up with two models that stood out from all the rest, uh, and, and those are the ones we wanted to focus in on, and that was the federated and the, and the synchronized model. So then we went back again and took a hard look at those uh, two specific models and then asked a third party, which was IBM, to uh, analyze the costs uh, attendant to these two models. Uh, and IBM released its uh, implementation model cost analysis report. And, uh, and based on this study uh, and based on our original analysis and the specific requirements that were laid out in the, in the report and what we were, we were uh, trying to achieve, the EWG re EWG's recommendation was to adopt the synchronized model. So on the next slide, we uh, put up the uh, synchronized model, um, and, and you know it, it, there, there's probably some complexities to this, but, but um, you, you can see uh, it, it's well laid out here, um, and, and you know just kind of following the flow, the domain name data is collected by the registrars uh, and/or the validators. A validator can be a registrar or um, or a third party. The validator stores the con the contact data and then pushes that to the uh, RDS. And then the uh, registrars will then simultaneously push the domain name data and the contact IDs uh, to the registries, which is then pushed to the RDS. Uh, in the synchronized model, uh, the, the RDS is responsible for the storage of copies of the validated data. Uh, it handles all the queries, uh, public and authenticated, um, authorizes access, uh, applies these gating policies, returns allowed data, uh, audits and then uh, provides additional services, and those were some of the services that we talked about, which was the reverse uh, quer uh, reverse queries and uh, who is um, services.